Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Chat Chill Bros episode. And as you can see, we're going to play the Federation Cup final. Of course, we are not the favourites because this game always underestimates us. But our record against Minerva Punjab so far is two wins, two draws, one loss. We play basically the same formation and we both have one player injured. Theirs is out with a virus. Of course, GD with his old man hip broke it. But without further ado, let's get into this fixture. Okay, so going into the lineups of today's march at the Malipuram District Sports Complex Stadium in Manjiri. Wow, that is a mouthful to say. Our team will be De Silva in goal, Moana at left back, Sana and Aldor in the middle with Perez on the right, Outcho and Boggs in central midfield with Zoding on the left, Franco in centre and Udanta Singh on the right. We have Suse up front and our bench consists of Dali, Lala, Parab, Hanshing, Singh, Lobo and Nele. They of course have Stuart up front who I believe is the guy who has caused us a lot of trouble. When it comes to playing these, Quira has been decent for them too, and they have Fapa, who I believe usually plays off the bench, but is starting today. Is there anybody on their bench who is a threat? Pratab Singh is decent, and I believe Sabif is decent too. Something very confusing about their bench though is if you look near the end, there is two guys called R Singh. Now let's just well, it, okay, we have Randeep Singh. Are you Randeep? No, y'all, Raju. So we have Randeep and Raju Singh. But our assistant, make sure you go out there and win this cup for the supporters. I think that's reasonable, assertively. We, I guess we lost last time, or perhaps Drew. Um, yeah, that's more reasonable. I know there's only like 10 people who turn up to every game that we play, so they don't really pay our players so much, considering we're in a load of debt. Come on fans, turn up to the games. Anyways, East Bengal manager Manuel Retamiru has taken to pr taken the perhaps bold step of placing Bodger Gomez... I wonder if that's actual Bodger Gomez... on the transfer list. Is that a decision you agree with? Without knowing all the details, I'm inclined to sign with the manager in these situations. You must be intent on gaining a measure of revenge. After they were triumphant last time. Okay. The team are itching to set the record straight. And without further ado, we are going to set this record straight. Udanta Singh has won the ball back on the halfway line 10 seconds in, plays it to Franco to Borgs. Borgs has the ball now, plays it out wide to the crowd. It sure as heck went near enough to go to Perez. That is for sure. Fapa now to Devrani though. Devrani holds the ball up, plays it for it to Stewart. Stewart whips one out wide to Sue. I'm just going to call him Sue because I'm not going to bother reading that long name. Aldor heads it away, Franco can't get it though. Stewart, oh my. Please. Please, not like this. Cornelius Stewart. Of course. Cornelius strikes again. Aldo tries to head it away, but it's headed back in. Cornelius Stewart kicks out to Silva, who doesn't hold it, has a second chance, pokes it past him. De Silva, you are really making it hard for me to like you. Show some passion, lads. Sue to Fapa. Papa's holding the ball. Can't get dispossessed. Outro finally wins the ball back for us and Zoding has it. Zoding is trying to counter. Zoding plays it to Cissé. Cissé holds the ball. Can Cissé do anything with possession here? Plays it out to Moana on the wing. Deflected to Boggs on the edge of the area and it goes wide. Come on lads. This is not the way to be starting the game. Two minutes in, one nil down. They've had two shots, two on target. We've had two, zero on target. Make that three and three. Looks like their strikers are hitting the mark today. Let's go attacking. 
Udansing, Udansing comes up and it's a nice save by Terka. We are making the tactical decision to go more attacking. Outro now has a free kick. Outro whips one in, Fapa heads it away. Balwala? I don't know. Moana has it on the halfway line though. Plays it to Borgs in the centre circle, back to Moana. Moana plays it upfield, Zoding heads it across to Cissé who plays it down to Franco. Franco plays it through to Singh. Come on Singh! That is what I am talking about. Beautiful Udanta, beautiful. Zoding just heads it across, Cissé, nice control, plays it down to Franco, who sees Udan to sing in acres of space, plays it through, smashes it past the keeper, 1-1. One, one. And we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going down without a fight. And this is arguably our easier game of today's video, so... We need to put in a good performance. Outro on the edge of the area, and it goes wide, unlucky Outro. Also, them posts look really nice. I like how the two tone is sort of faded into one another. Those little details. But we look to be going in with a draw, which, considering the start of today's fixture, I'm not too bad about. Match stats are, though, six shots to three, two on target to three, seven fouls to three. Zero yellow cards to zero. 61% possession to 39% possession. They seem to have an obsession with the number three in this first half. We have had Udan to sing as our best performer with one goal and a 7.1 rating. Of course, Cornelius Stewart has been their best performer with a 7.3 and one goal. Our worst has been Sana, who has had one mistake which led to the goal with a 6.1 rating. S uh, Okay, I'll try and say his name this time. Susiraj. Michael Susiraj. Has had a 0% crossing completion ratio, which has made him their struggling performer with a 6.4. Make sure you go out there and win this cup for the supporters. You know what? Um, go out there and get revenge. I tried the whole supporter thing in the first half and you didn't seem too motivated. So go out there and get revenge for yourself. If you ain't going to play for the fans, play for you. Cissé. Holds it up, plays it to Moana. Moana plays it inside to Franco. Franco, dilly dallying on the ball, plays it to Zoding, back to Franco. Zoding. And it is comfortably collected by Tercar. Not the greatest of shots by Franco, I must say. Aldor gets the goal kick. Not quite sure what this opening highlight is. Plays it to Sana. Sana tries to play ball over the top. Nobody's getting that. Tora heads it down to Cissé though. Cissé. <sighs> nice little block by the other defender which was Bahanwala. Moana with the corner. He goes back post with it. Cissé header and Terka gets it. Although it looked like that was going wide to me. I don't see why he bothered. Quiro. Quiro plays it shot to Fapa. Back to Quero on the edge of the area. Got to get... No. No. You've got to close him down. The one Quero cannot be given that much space. I remember now. That guy is solid. Stuart is their big threat, but then Quero is probably the next biggest threat. And we've just seen why. Right. Demand more. Sana, you've been terrible, mate. Parab, come on for Sana. And I have a hair that's really bothering me on my lens. Where on F is... I think I got it. Moana to Aucho. Aucho back to Moana. Plays it across to Boggs. Acres of space. Come on, Boggs. Yes, come on, Boggs! Roll in Boggs with his sixth goal of the season, assisted by Moana. Let's see this one again, folks. Moana plays it to Aucho. Aucho heads it back to Moana, who takes the throwing. It goes to Boggs on the edge of the area, who smashes it into the right-hand side of the goal to make it 2-2. Two, two. 
Now we have Quero with the corner. Quero, its corner is headed away by Zoding, but it falls to Fappa. Fappa gets it to Devrani. Devrani on the edge of the area now plays it back to Torre. Torre, will he play it back again? Yes, he does to Becca, who tries to get it over the top to Quero, who heads it across, but Parab intercepts it and plays it short to Borgs. Borgs now to Franco. Franco holds the ball. Franco plays it back to Borgs. He's now getting some space. He plays it to Udant Singh. Udant Singh is going down the wing, possibly. No, he is dispossessed by Shadjar, who plays it to Banwala, who plays it to Mefani. Yeah, Mefani. We'll go with that one. <gasps> Mefani, you beauty. You absolute beauty. Mefani tries to play it back to the goalkeeper. Cissé intercepts, and we are free to up, folks. Let's have another look at that one. Mefrani, don't know what he's thinking about here. Just pass it to the centre-back who can kick it upfield. Nope. I will kick it to the goalkeeper. Go short. Cissé taps it past. Easy goal. 3-2, ladies and gents. We do have Quiro taking a dangerous corner, though. Luckily, Sabif heads it over the bar. Perez throws it to Franco. Franco heads it into Cissé. Cissé, oh, nice save by Teca. Cissé could have put the game beyond doubt there. But Moana with the corner. Moana plays it into the middle. Teca comes and collects. As you can see, his defence has been stressing him out because he has now gone grey. Mafif plays it to Roy. Roy to Sabif. Sabif to Sue. Sue plays it over the top to Fapper on the right-hand side. Can Fapper get across in? No, it is blocked, but Becker gets it. Who plays it back to Sue, and Sue at range kicks it over the bar. Let's try to settle this game down a little bit now. We will go from attacking back to positive. We have... Outcho isn't really doing a whole lot in today's game. Perez is also having a rough one. Lala on for Perez and possibly Outcho for Singh. Please don't make me regret that decision. Confirm changes. We are going a little risky bringing on two considering, considering we already have a substitution used in Parab for Sana, but needs must. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Franco plays over the top to Cissé. Cissé, one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Bounces off. Ooh, Udanta Singh. That got interesting. Borgs has it on the edge, though. Lala. Will Lala do anything? Whips one in and Dipti at the book. First cannot get to it. Unlucky Zoding. But we have 20 minutes. Well, 18 now. To hold on to the lead. Franco does head it back to them. Pradjib Singh tries to play one over the top, but it's headed away. Sue now has the ball. Quero, Quero to Sabif. Sabif at range. Oh my god, Sabif. I said I thought Sabif was a bit of a threat. He's just gone and proved it. We are free free. And the goalkeeping decision is really getting interesting for this next match. If Minerva Punjab can get three goals past him, who's to say Kuwait isn't going to get like eight? That's the thing I'm worrying about. Although it does say he's got a 6.8 rating, which is interesting. Moana whips one in. Aldor, back post. Come on, Aldor. You've got to do better, my friend. Come on, lads. We can't mess this one up. It's been too back and forth this game. It really has. Cissé with a free kick. And it goes wide. Three minutes left for somebody to do something in normal time. Sue? I don't know what it was saying about Sue. Something about Sue. Oh, I just realised Stuart got injured. Let's go. Let's go, lads. At least Stuart is not on the pitch. Franco. It's probably why Sabif just got. Anyway, Franco to Singh. Back to Franco. Back to Boggs. Boggs to Singh. Zoding. Singh. Boggs. Franco is finally moved up pitch, but he plays it back 
to Box. Who plays it back to Franco? Who plays it to Cisse? Who plays it to Udan to Sing? Who Udan to Sing plays it back to Box. Who plays it up to Sing now? Sing at range just smacks it for no apparent reason. I don't know what he was expecting there. But Turkar to take the goal kick over to Sue. Moana wins it. And it is the end of 90 minutes. We are heading into extra time, folks. Score at 3-3 free free and the match stats so far are 19 shots to 9, 9 on target to 6, 13 fouls to 14 fouls, 0 yellow cards to 1 yellow card, 62% possession to 38% possession. Our best player so far has been Boggs with an 8.3 rating and 1 goal. Their best performer has been Quiro with an 8.3 rating and 1 goal. Our struggling performer was Sana. Luckily, he's off the pitch with his one mistake that led to a goal and a six rating. Mafani, with his mistake that led to a goal, i.e. he passed it to Cissé, with his 6.2 rating as being their struggling performer. So, our assistant in this time of need says, give the lads a bit of encouragement. This cup is still very up for grabs. Well, yes, it's extra time. Um... We've been the best team, just keep... Um, have we? Have we there? Some of the players have. Uh, um, yeah, there we go. That went down well. I don't quite believe it, but it seemed like the right thing to tell the lads. But we have Sue on the wing. Somebody dispossess Sue, please. Thank you, Sue Perkins. Goes for a very interesting shot at range. Come on, lads. Don't let this go to penalties, please. Please, I'm begging. Moana throws it to Zoding. Zoding back to Moana. Moana plays it to Sing. Sing inside to Boggs. Boggs has plenty of space. Plays it out wide to Udan to Sing, who has quite a bit of space himself. Comes inside to Boggs. To Franco. Back to Boggs. Boggs. Can he take a shot at range? No. He plays it back to Sing. He plays it back to Boggs. Who plays it to Franco? He takes a shot and it hits Cissé on the way in. Cissé, get your big fat head out of the way, please. Quiro. Free kick over the bar. This is not good considering we have the Q8 game. Our players are going to be rather tired, I must say. And... The Q8 game, although it's going to bring us 30 grand, if we can get to that final, we get at least 192, I believe. And like 200 odd if we can win it. So we really need to get through to the final of, I want to say the West Asian zone is what we're in. Franco plays it across to Moana. Moana to Zoding, Zoding in the box. Bounces, Sing, edge of the area, plays it shot to Franco. Franco to Sing, Sing back to Franco. Neither player seems to want to take a shot, plays it back to Sing. Plays it to Boggs, Boggs at range, and it's over the bar. Come on, Boggs, you can do better than that, my friend. Please, let's go into the Q8 game with a title. Well, we have a title, but with a cup. And do we get an extra substitution? Because if not, we are down to 10 men. And it is an injury to Franco, potential foot injury. That is definitely not a good sign, because that means Nelly is probably going to be playing the next game with Cissé behind him. Let's just quickly check whether it will let us sub. No, it won't. That is what I thought. We are down to 10 men. And penalties is looking more likely, or at least the better thing for us at this stage. We have five, four, three, two, one. Penalty shootout. So, do we leave it to auto pick? I don't think so. Cissé can go in. Now, everybody else pretty much sucks. Those stats do not make me feel comfortable. Um, He has no composure. <laughs> do we trust Moana? He has no composure, but he can take penalties. You know what? We'll have Cissé, and then we'll let the rest of them pick. 
The only one I'm picking is Cissé. He's the only guy I trust, and he's probably going to be the one guy who misses. Cissé steps up, and yes, come on Cissé! One down, four more to go. Hopefully, just save one. <gasps> come on. Come on, De yes, come on De Silva! You win us this penalty shootout, and I will keep you in the team for Q8. That is a promise, my friend. Come on, Moana. That is what I'm talking about. So much for not having composure. Cup final puts it away. Quiro saved. Let's go. Come on, Silva. Two penalties in and De Silva is not conceded yet. Come on, Aldor. You can do this. Come on, Aldor. Centre back. Finishing of a striker, my friend. Finishing of a striker. Come on, De Silva. Three saves in a row. Put us through to... Well. <laughs> There's nothing to put us through to. We're in a cup final. But just win us this cup, please. Send us into the next game. With this cup. Oh, unlucky De Silva. Went the right way, just not far enough. He seemed to sort of dive sideways, but stay in the middle. Not quite sure what that attempt was. But we have Zoding stepping up. Can Zoding put us... I never said through again. Can Zoding bag us the title? The Federale Cup. Oh my. He nearly gave me a heart attack with that one, but Zoding has won us it. That and De Silva's amazing job in goal. Apart from in the actual game when he shouldn't have conceded three goals. Especially when he passed it back to Stewart. But we will let him off for that because we got the victory in the end. 3-3, three, 4-1 three, on penalties. The match stats were as follows. 27 shots to 12. 12 on target to 6. 17 fouls to 19 fouls. 0 yellow cards to 1 yellow card. 63% possession to 37%. Our best performer was... It should say De Silva after that. But, Rolling Borgs... With one goal and an 8.3 rating, theirs was, of course, Juan Quiru with one goal and an 8.3 rating. Struggling performers were Sane with... Sane? Sana, who had one... Mis <laughs> one mistake that led to a goal. Wow, I am struggling to English today, ladies and gents. And a 6 rating. Mafani, my favourite attacking mid, of course. Mistake led to goal. 6.2 played it to Cissé and without his contribution we probably wouldn't have made it to the penalties. So thank you very much Mafani. Milestones in today's game were De Silva was finally beaten today having previously gone 353 consecutive minutes without conceding prior to today's match. Yeah, not a great statistic. Aucho made his 125th career appearance. Amarid... Amarjit? Amarjit? Yeah, I'll go with that. Made his 50th career appearance. Aniruda Fapa made his 75th career appearance for Minerva Punjab. But let's see what the assistant has to say after that game. Tell the team how pleased you are at winning this competition. Congratulations lads, I'm happy with your performance out there. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. Mm, yeah, that, mm. Congratulations lads. The performance, meh. But without further ado, let's quickly just have a look at the messages before we do that. We just received 25k, which will help with our terrible finances an insy bit. But, victorious Churchill Bros celebrate famous treble. Churchill Bros are celebrating a magnificent treble after beating Minerva Punjab. We won the Indian Federation Cup, the National League and the Durand Cup this season. Not a bad little season indeed. Franco was injured and he is out for five to six weeks. So he is out for the rest of the season. That is not good. Hmm. 
I don't really want to give him injections to get through a game just so he's out for two months. Sorry Franco, you're missing the rest of the season with GG. Churchill Bros Lift Federation Cup. And Hail Wonder Maker. Okay, so Churchill fans in jubilant mood after I led them to an incredible feat of winning the Federation Cup. A fan spokesman announced that Tomlinson was undoubtedly one of the best managers around. Oh well, <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, Churchill Bros Ward are delighted with the cup win, which as you can see we have not won since 2014. So, pretty good. Gone four years without winning it. Borg's on form as Churchill Bros win shootout. Um. Mm, no, I'll wait. All praise can wait till the end of the season, when all the games are done. Can't be praising people in the middle of the season going, yeah, you've done well. You might get a little lazy. But without further ado, I will see you in the second game. Okay, everybody, so time for the second game, and it is the West semi-final leg one of the Confederation Cup against Kuwait. And we are playing at the Al-Kuwait Sports Club Stadium in Kuwait City, of course. They have many Al names in their team, and yeah. So we have Al-Habe. Al-Habe? There's two of them. There's H-Al-Habe, F-Al-Habe. F. Al Enezi, H. Lamar, Meadow, L. Aduar, F. Sabar, Fahad Umud, Al Hadri, Al Sania, Al Hosinan. Yeah, I am going to have plenty of fun trying to pronounce these names, but they are playing a 4 1 2 2 1, or as they like to say, 4 1 2 3. Defensive mid wide, but okay. Not sure how that equates to three when I have basically the same formation except with an attacking mid, and it does not say I'm playing four strikers. They're only playing one striker. But we, of course, are playing our fourth two, three, one. I nearly said four, four, two. Jesus, we are not that old school. But. De Silva has stayed in goal as I promised after the cup final. Mo Arne is at left back. Zana, Aldor and Perez in the rest of defence. We have Alcho and Borgs in the central midfield. Zoding on the left. Cissé in centre attacking mid after Franco's injury. Udanta Singh on the right and Nele up front. That means our bench will consist of Dali, Lala, Chung, Han Shin, Singh, Lobo and Barreto. We are going to go into this game as attacking as always, because we shouldn't cower. I know the odds are against us. I believe it said we are 10 to 1 to win. They are 1 to 6. But we're going to do this. Let's go out there and beat them in Kuwait City. And our assistant thinks we should try and encourage the team. And so do I. Let's give them some encouragement. I expect you no, no expectations. I know we are the underdogs here, but to go out there and give the fans a, we're away. I know it said we've got travelling fans coming to this game, and there's about 3,000 travelling fans to this game. But no, not for the fans. The majority of the fans are still Kuwait City. Sorry, Kuwait SC. Nobody expects us to get a result, so go out there and enjoy playing without any pressure on you. We've got nothing to lose. We know how good we are. Let's yeah, that's a more positive than go out there and just play. No, go out there, show them how good we are. We are the best team in India. We won the treble. We can beat these guys. Come on, let's do this. Lamar. I'm just gonna call him Lamar. I don't care. He is Lamar. Harbi. Outcho. Outcho plays it to Moana. I'm definitely going to shorten a lot of these names. Everyone who has Al in their name, I'm going to try and refrain from saying the Al part. Because it will get on my nerves saying Al for every other player. So, Sabah plays it to Hamoud. Plays it to Lamar. Lamar plays it to Adua. Adua to Lamar, back to Adua to Lamar. Lamar holds the ball up. Plays it out wide to Sané. 
who plays it to Enezi. Enezi comes inside, Sana cannot get the tackle in. It's played across to Harby, who smashes it past the keeper. Eight minutes in, and we are a goal down, folks. This is looking shaky already. Come on, lads. I expect a little bit more. I know they're a good side. I know we're expected to get smashed. But, come on. Put in a performance worthy of being in the competition. Anezi. Anezi works one in and they have a free header but it has gone back out to Anezi on the wing. Aldor. Aldor gets it away to Sing. Sing plays it to Cissé. Cissé plays it up to Nele. Nele cannot get it. Sabah has the ball. Plays it back to the goalkeeper who plays it to Hadj. Hadri? Hadri? Yeah. It's got up to Harby though. Harby on the ball now. Comes inside. Tries to go past two. Cannot get past to Silver though. 24 minutes in. 25. Come on. If we can just get to half time. 1 0 down. I'll take that. I'll take that as a decent performance. For a team our size against these. Aldor to Sana. Sana plays it up to Cissé. Cissé to Aucho. Of course, I will still want us to go for the result, but I don't expect it. Anezi. Anezi gets dispossessed by Moana, who plays it to Cissé, who plays it to Zoding. Zoding has space on the wing. Can he do anything with it? He plays it inside to Aucho now as two people come up to him. Plays it to Boggs now. Box out to Udan Singh. Perez has acres of space, but he plays it into Box, who plays it to Aucho, who plays it to Nelly Nelly, edge of the area, and it is saved. That was a comfortable save to make by the Kuwaiti keeper. Habe. Habe to Habe. Back to Habe. H <laughs> Habe. H Habe to F Habe. F Habe plays it to Adua. Adua plays it to H Habe. Back to F Habe to Meadow. And it's not looking good. We're 2 0 down. Lads, I know. Passion, please. Get the passion for it out. Sana, you're struggling again, my friend. Like, pick up your game. I really wish Parab was available for this fixture. But sadly, Parab has his suspension. Udan to sing. Udan to sing. Bombs it down the wing. Plays it inside to Nele. Nele. Holds the ball up. Plays it into Cissé. Cissé. Plays it back to Boggs. Who plays it to Aucho? Who has plenty of space. Can Aucho do anything with this space? Plays it out wide to Moana. Who also has a lot of space. He gets close down though. And he plays it back to Aucho. Aucho plays it to Boggs. Boggs. Plays it to Udan to sing. Can he play it free to Perez? Perez edges the area. Can he do something with it? No, it's saved by the goalkeeper. That was not bad for a right back trying to score. I will give him props for that. And is the other game ongoing? That is my question. The Asian Champions League? Didn't realise. Who's in the Asian Champions League? Okay. So I'm guessing China number one? Yeah. I didn't know, but that is the other fixtures, and currently Al Jawia is currently nil nil. Johor versus Bing Duong is one one, and we have Pahang, who is one nil up against Putra. I'm not gonna try saying Arito Putra. Arito Putra. I don't know. I like to put an accent on it. It's making me Italian now. <laughs> oh. Pahang has gone 2 0 up. But we are going in 2 0 down at half time. We have 5 shots to their 7, 3 on target to their 4, so they're not dominating us too badly. 7 fouls to 4. Zero yellow cards, zero yellow cards. We actually have more, percent, more possession percentage with 58 to 42. Our best player so far has been De Silva, which is good and bad. Our goalkeeper really shouldn't be the best player on the pitch, but he is for us at least. Their best player has been Fahad Al Enezi with one assist and a 7.8 rating. Their struggling player is Isam El Adua with a 6.6 .6 
and Sana has been our worst performer yet again with 6.1, but I cannot take him off. Well, I can actually. Yeah, you know what? We can't really do much worse. Chung, you've got like no pressure on you. Go out there and just do something. It would be good to remind the team that the pressure is off. Um, it would be, but half of their ratings are terrible. Um, that was absolutely terrible. Yet yeah, that's going to crush them. Show me something else in the second half. A little bit more positive. Then going, you was terrible. Do better. Because yeah, we're expected to get slapped about a little bit. So at least tell them they're bad. Don't don't crush their dreams. Moana. Moana plays it to Ocho. Back to Moana, who plays the ball across to Udan Singh. Middle of the box, and it's a nice save. Zoding's got it, and he's won as a corner. Can we do anything with this corner, though? It is all down to Moana's delivery. Will it be a good one? He plays it short. It is headed away, but he could... No, he's too slow. Adua has won the ball back, and he's played it up to H. Harab. Harbi, even. Who has just countered and scored. Crikey, mate. This is not looking good at all. This is looking terrible. It is saying we should specifically mark him, but honestly we should specifically mark their whole team. Anezi. Anezi has the ball now. Plays it through to Harby. Harby is... Saved by De Silva. De Silva. Hmm. I know it said De Silva has been our best player, but I kind of want to take him off for the second leg. Give Dali a game and just see who really is better against the same lineup. Because I would assume they're going to bring basically the same team. The slightly more disappointing thing about this fixture is they actually have three injuries and 12 people unregistered. So I would hate to see what it's like if these had their entire lineup available. This is rather devastating, I must say. But Tarawa has the ball, and oh, please do not score an own goal. That would not look good. Chung has the ball now. He is wasting time for them. I don't know why. But apparently he thinks it's a good idea to waste time for these fellows. And we have nothing to lose, but we also don't have any strikers to work with. So, you know what? For fee For fee fee? For free free. Seems like my strategy right now. Unfortunately that would mean taking Udan to sing off though. It would mean going like this. Cisse playing as uh... pressing forward. Um, Nele as a poacher. We can then bring on Barreto for Zoding who can play as target man. We're getting a bit of variety in there. We have Sing for Sing, who can drop back to centre and play Borgs like that. Borgs defensive. Outcho attacking. You are on supportive. Let's see how that one goes, ladies and gents. In fact, we kind of need to go more attacking anyways. We need to at least give ourselves a couple of goals to work with. Like, one goal, it's not all over. 3-0 down going into the second leg, we're basically screwed. So I am thinking right now. And it's looking like we're going to be screwed. Because we are having no highlights until 7 seconds from the end where it's possibly them scoring. Oh, nice tackle. It ends with us having a lovely tackle. Great. But today's 
fixture has gone 3-0 to Kuwait. Al Habe, sorry, Hussein Al Habe with goals on the 9th and the 53rd. We have Meadow with a goal on the 30th. They've had 11 shots to our 7. They've had 7 on target to our 4. 4 fouls to our 14 fouls, so fouls have really given it away for us. 0 yellow cards to 0 yellow cards, they've had 44% possession to our 56. So we really have given up the game with all them fouls. Best performance has been Outcho for us with a 7 rating and a 90% passing completion ratio. When your best performance is not in the 8s, it's never going to be a good sign. Whereas theirs has been Hussein Al Habe with two goals and a 9.2 rating. That shows you just the gulf between the two teams in today's fixture. Youssef Al Kabezi has been their worst performer with a 6.6, .6, and Sana yet again has been our worst performer with a 6.1. I think Parab should be available for the next fixture, so. Hopefully he doesn't do as bad as Sana has been in these last couple of games. Milestones are Izam El Adua has made his 75th career appearance for Kuwait CS. CS? SC. I've got a real obsession with Counter-Strike apparently. But I think we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. In fact, I'm going to blame Jasmine for me putting out CS because I responded to her tweet earlier on. We were the underdogs out there, and you gave it your best. Good effort, lads. Honestly, them performance ratings do not scream out your best effort. Unlucky. Uh, I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. Yeah, I'm far from pleased. You know, I could have took a 1-0 loss. Maybe a 2. Maybe a 3-1. Like, 4-2. But, no goals. No real effort in defence, like, it was just all round bad. Like, I have to give them some motivation to play better after that fixture. But I apologise for twanging that spring. I didn't mean to clip it with my finger. But <laughs> I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and have yourself a nice night. Goodbye.